oh, I have to have this, 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 and this. <laughs> Just having my usual favorite chicken skin baked at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. I love it. Lunch time!
I am going to answer some of your questions that I posed on my YouTube. So, Q&A time. All right, so I'm just gonna go down the list. Question number one, where do you see yourself in 10 years? And also, do you plan to travel in the years to come? If yes, which country would you go to? Okay, I love this because I really want to travel to Northern Europe. Um, I really love European countries, um, their culture, and I also like cold weather. So that's why I'm thinking like Northern Europe. So I'm thinking about Denmark. I really want to visit Copenhagen. I want to visit Norway, Iceland, Scotland, Switzerland. And then of course the general Central Europe, like um, Italy, France, England, you know, those popular touristy areas. But I'm really, really excited. I hear that um, it's really beautiful. So I'm looking forward to that. Where do I see myself in 10 years? Okay, so I am 21. In 10 years, I'll be 31. Whew, okay. I don't know, it's, it's really hard to say. I'll be a full-time life coach and yoga instructor. I'll also be working at a, um, a spa facility. Um, I'll be volunteering my time once a week, perhaps at a dance studio in exchange for free dance classes. I'll be dancing for sure. I love dance, it brings me so much joy. Um, I'll be living in the US. Uh, probably I'm thinking Colorado or Los Angeles. Um, LA because that's where all the big things happen and a lot of people um, are on the same vibe as me. We're passionate about the same things. It's health and fitness and wellness and lifestyle and the West Coast vibes are just so cozy. Um, and laid back, so I'm, I'm liking the lifestyle of wellness there. Um, I'm thinking Colorado because it's cold and I love the cold and I wouldn't mind the cold. So there's that. Um, I might have a dog, a husky or a golden retriever. We'll see. How do you fight laziness? I struggle to exercise because I'm too lazy. Okay. You kind of don't. There's two ways you can approach this. You could just tell yourself, do five minutes. I'm just going to do five minutes of squats or burpees or anything like that. And like, I can do five minutes of anything, really. So after five minutes, if I really want to stop, fine. If I don't, then that's great. And likelihood of, you know, the likelihood of stopping after five minutes with all those endorphins pumping through your blood is pretty low. So what I tell myself is if I wanna to get to the gym, I just say, okay, I just have to lace up my running shoes and I just have to show up at the gym. I don't care if I don't do anything. If anything at all, I just show up at the gym. That is the start of a healthy habit. So just keep doing that and then you start to build in like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll go on the trip for five minutes and then 10 minutes and it just, it just keeps going. Another thing you can do is there's, you have to be graceful when you are not feeling motivated, right? There's, there's probably a reason that you're not feeling motivated. Maybe it's low moods, low energy. Um, something happened earlier that day. So think about something that brings you joy. So for me, it, dance, it's running, it's yoga. I want to do these things. I want to, I don't have to fight it. I'm pulled by inspiration. I'm not pushed by fear. And I think that's the, I think that's the problem around motivation. It's, it's this negative connotation that, oh, you, you have to be pushed by fear to, to do something. And I don't think that's the way to live. You have to be pulled by inspiration for it to be a long-term sustainable habit. Question number three, what advice would you give to someone interested in starting their own blog? Um, messy inspired action and commitment. So don't try to make things perfect before you start. Don't try to feel like, oh, I have to have this, 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 and this um, before I can finally launch my blog. When I started blogging, I started off of Tumblr and that was raw, honest. I had a lot of gram grammatical errors. Um, it, I had a lot of posts that were kind of embarrassing. Um, 
but then it just evolved and it's just gaining this momentum. So don't wait to start, start now. Another thing is commitment. If you are going to blog um, and you want to make it successful, make it a long-term commitment. So for me, I always blog and I release a post out once a week on Fridays at uh, like four to 5 a.m. I schedule that in. If you're just dabbling to see if it's something that you're interested in, that would be a different matter. I wouldn't invest in a lot of money in that. So I wouldn't really buy a domain until I'm positive and certain that this is something that I'm passionate in and that I will keep up. So commitment is something that's super duper important in creating a habit. Okay, another thing. Question number four, what is your biggest dream you don't, wait, Oh, you want to achieve. Okay, I read that wrong. What is your biggest dream you want to achieve? Wow, I just, I just wanna be happy. I just wanna be happy serving and life coaching girls um, that struggle with perfectionism, that are looking to step up into their highest vibration, be their highest self and show up in their life wanting and inspired to do things. That's what I wanna do for a living and traveling around the world. Okay, next question. What's your biggest goal for the new year? Huh. Finding a job at a wellness oriented center, so a spa, dance, gym, whatever, that pays $20 an hour or more and loving the environment and the people that I'm working with. So I have very specific goals. I graduate in April this year. So um, yeah, wanna be employed nearly full time. I'm looking for about 30, 35 hours a week. Next question. What is your favorite type of exercise? Oh, don't make me pick. I guess I wanna say dance or running. Okay, next. Any tips for dieting to lose weight? I see a lot of food suggestions in your videos, but don't understand how it all fits in with getting fit. Okay. Girl, you are overcomplicating this. There are two things you do to be healthy and active. Number one, you get in movement every single day. Opt for 60 minutes a day. If anything, try to get more than that, but minimum 60 minutes. So you can do walking, running, dancing, whatever it is that makes you happy, okay? Something that gets your heart rate into that middle fat burning zone. And for you, that would be different. So it would, uh, depending, on, depending on your age, it's 220 minus your age. And then you would times that by, what is it like? 60, 60% to 80%. That would be your heart rate range. Um, just something that gets you, you know, sweating a little bit. It's a little bit hard to talk, but it's not super duper impossible. So do that. And the second thing is just eat wholesome foods, foods that are grown, foods that are not processed, right? Like ever, you know what to do. I'm sure you know what to do, right? Like, Eat green, eat plants, eat animal products. Um, not this, not eating these like, you know, not buying fast food, not buying uh, salad dressings, not buying these prepackaged pop tarts. You know what to do, okay? Um, you just have to do it. You're, don't overcomplicate it. It's very, it's very simple, simple terms. Eat wholesome foods and get an activity, some sort of physical exercise every single day. That's all, that's all it is, okay? So, um, if you have any more questions, let me know in the description below and uh, I will be happy to answer them in the next Q&A video. For now, I am going back to doing my homework. This was a nice break. I'll see you guys in the next clip. <laughs>